Hi, I'm from Seven Solutions and... Ah! That classic rotten egg smell ever been somewhere and suddenly thought, who's cooking eggs badly? Well, before you start blaming lunch, let me introduce you to the real culprit. Hydrogen sulfide, or H2S. Today, we're diving into fun facts about this stinky gas, what it is, why it's dangerous, and why it smells bad for a reason. So, what's H2S? Let's break it down. It's a colorless, flammable gas that smells just like, you guessed it, rotten eggs. This distinctive odor is hard to miss. Now you find H2S naturally in all sorts of places. Swamps, sewers, you name it. It's pretty much everywhere you wouldn't want to be. Basically, anywhere you have organic matter decomposing without much oxygen around, it's a byproduct of nature's recycling process. Think about it. What happens when you leave food out for too long? It rots, right? That's when the magic, or rather the stink, happens. Well, that rotting process often involves bacteria breaking down the food, releasing... Yep, you guessed it. H2S. These tiny organisms are hard at work. It's like the bacteria's own little stink bomb. They're doing their job, but it's not always pleasant for us. And you know what's kind of wild? When you smell that telltale stink, you're actually sniffing a sulfur compound. It's fascinating and a bit gross. That's right, the same stuff that's in volcanoes and hot springs. Nature's way of reminding us of its power. But don't let the smell fool you. H2S is no joke. It's not just an unpleasant odor. This isn't just a smelly inconvenience. In high concentrations, it's highly toxic. It can be dangerous if not handled properly. And while your nose may pick up the smell first, don't stick around to get a full whiff. We'll get to why in a second. Stay tuned for more on this stinky subject. Okay, get this. That rotten egg smell doesn't stick around forever. It's not just a nuisance, it's a warning sign. It's like a magic trick, but instead of a rabbit, it's danger. The smell is a signal that something hazardous is in the air. At lower levels, H2S smells like eggs gone wrong. It's unmistakable and unpleasant, but at higher levels, your nose actually checks out. It's called olfactory fatigue. Your sense of smell gets overwhelmed and stops working. Imagine this. You walk into a room and it reeks of rotten eggs. The stench is overpowering. You think, whoa, something's up. You're immediately on high alert, but then as you stay in the room, the smell seems to fade. It's like it's disappearing into thin air. You might think, oh, it's gone, no biggie. You feel a sense of relief. But here's the thing, it's not gone. Your nose has just stopped smelling it. The danger is still very much present. That's olfactory fatigue in action. Your nose is no longer a reliable detector. So if you're in an area with high H2S and suddenly don't smell it anymore, that's actually bad news. It's a sign of high concentration. It means the concentration of the gas is so high that your nose is overwhelmed. The danger is still there, even if you can't smell it. Translation, trust your gas detector, not your nose. Always rely on your equipment to keep you safe. Now you might be thinking, if I can't always smell H2S, how can I stay safe? Well, fear not my friends, because we've got technology on our side. We've got these amazing little gadgets called gas detectors and they can sniff out H2S even when your nose can't. Seriously, these things are like the superheroes of the gas detection world. These bad boys can pick up even tiny amounts of the gas and beep like crazy when levels get dangerous. It's like having a little alarm system with you at all times, letting you know when it's time to skedaddle. So next time you're near H2S, let your gas detector do the smelling for you. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. And nothing says get out quite like an angry gas detector. Chapter four. Why so stinky? H2S is, has a message. Now, you might be wondering, why does H2S smell so terrible in the first place? I mean, couldn't it have a more pleasant aroma, like freshly baked cookies or something? Well, as it turns out, there's a very good reason why H2S smells like rotten eggs. It's nature's way of saying, stay back. You see, this gas can be deadly at high concentrations. It's not messing around. In fact, H2S is known as one of the knockdown gases, meaning it can literally knock you out with just a few breaths if levels are high enough. It's like the gas equivalent of a knockout punch. So in a weird way, that awful smell is a warning system. It's nature's way of protecting us. If we pay attention, Chapter five, H2S, smelly but not alone. Okay, let's put H2S on the stinker meter. It's definitely up there, but let's not forget it's not the only offender. Sure, H2S is bad, but it's not the only stinky thing out there. 
There are plenty of other smells that can make you wrinkle your nose. There are a few other contenders in the smells bad for a reason category. Let's explore some of them. First up, we've got skunks. These little creatures are infamous for their powerful odor. Those little guys are notorious for their stink bombs. Their spray can be smelled from quite a distance. But that spray isn't just for laughs. It's a defense mechanism. It's their way of saying, stay away. Just like H2S, it's a strong scent designed to make predators go the other way. It's nature's way of keeping them safe. Imagine if H2S were a living creature. Its catchphrase would be back off too. It's all about survival. Next, we've got good old garbage. The smell of rotting waste is something we're all familiar with. You know that lovely aroma that wafts up from the trash can? It's a mix of various gases. Yeah, that's not exactly roses. It's a combination of different compounds breaking down. The bacteria breaking down organic matter release gases, one of which is, yep, H2S. It's a byproduct of decomposition. So if you've ever opened a trash can and smelled a little eggy surprise, you've met H2S before. It's a common culprit. So you see H2S is in good, or should I say smelly, company. It's just one of many odors that make our world interesting. Chapter 6. Flammable and smelly. Oh, great. Okay. Are you ready for another fun fact about H2S? You know how we talked about it being toxic? Well, hold on to your hats because it gets even better, or should I say more dangerous. Did you know H2S is flammable? Yep, just to make things interesting, it can ignite at high enough concentrations. Imagine a gas that smells like rotten eggs and catches fire. It's like the universe just threw in that extra surprise for good measure. So not only do you have to worry about H2S knocking you out, but it could also start a fire. Talk about a double whammy. Just another reason to keep your distance and let the pros handle it. Remember how we talked about an olfactory fatigue earlier? That whole thing where your nose just gives up trying to smell hydrogen sulfide at high concentrations. Well, that's where things get really tricky. Because at those high levels, hydrogen sulfide can knock out your sense of smell altogether. You could be surrounded by dangerous levels of the gas and you wouldn't even know it. So if you're in an area where hydrogen sulfide is detected, don't think no smell means it's safe. It could mean the opposite. It's like the gas is playing a sneaky trick on you. Bottom line, when it comes to hydrogen sulfide, don't take chances. No smell doesn't mean no gas. Chapter 8, Herb. 2S in the wild swamps, sewers and oil fields. Ever wonder where you might encounter H2S naturally? Well, one place is swamps. Those murky, mysterious bodies of water might look cool, but they're also prime H2S producing zones. You see, H2S is produced when bacteria break down organic material without much oxygen, releasing that delightful eggy scent. And swamps are full of decomposing plants and other organic matter, making them perfect H2S factories. It's like nature's own warning, toxic sign, but it's not just swamps. You'll also find H2S around oil fields Fields, sewers and any place where stuff is decomposing. Chapter 9. Holding your breath won't save you. Okay, I've got to address a myth I've heard about H2S. Some people think that if they hold their breath, they'll be safe from the gas. Let me tell you, that's about as effective as using a butterfly net to catch a shark. Holding your breath might work for a few seconds, but it's not a long-term solution. Why? Because H2S can be absorbed through the skin. That's right, it doesn't even need to go through your lungs to cause harm. So even if you're holding your breath, you're still at risk. Leave the holding your breath trick for swim class. Stay safe and use proper detection. A chapter 10, the smell safe trap. Now, I don't want to scare you into thinking that any whiff of H2S is going to send you to the hospital. The truth is, at very low levels, H2S is considered safe. You might catch a faint whiff of rotten eggs, but it's not going to harm you. But here's the kicker. The more you're exposed to H2S, even at low levels, the more sensitive you become to its effects. It's like your body starts to say, hey, I'm not a fan of this stuff, even in small doses. So just because you can tolerate a bit of H2S doesn't mean you should hang around it. Listen to your gas detector. It'll tell you when you've overstayed your welcome. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay away from stinky gas. And that's our rundown on the famously stinky but seriously dangerous H2S. Next time you catch a whiff of rotten egg smell, 
think twice. It's not breakfast gone wrong. It's your signal to keep your distance, trust your equipment, and stay safe. Thanks for watching. And remember, when it comes to H2S, don't rely on your nose alone. Until next time, stay safe, stay smart, and keep your gas detectors charged.